gadgets, gadgets, gadgets. Everywhere people use gadgets. Hello friends, I am Madhav Midun of 6th standard from Greed's Public School. Today, I am here before you to speak about thinking beyond gadgets. Like most of the kids of my generation, I was fascinated about gadgets. My father's iPad, my mom's laptop and my grandmother's cell phone were my favorite pastimes. I like to talk to Siri and Alexa more than playing with my little bro. Always, my grandmother complained about spoiling my eyes due to long exposure to blue light. I was getting irritated. A game of PUBG was even more fun than a tiring game of football. The world beyond the harmful blue light was where I played, lived and enjoyed. Then one day, my parents took me to a vacation. I packed up my things, well, included three essentials iPad, charger and power bank. Then came the shocker from my dad that I'm not supposed to use any gadgets for three whole days. Hell broke loose. What will I do without gadgets? I will get bored. What's life without cell phone? Reluctantly, I proceeded up what the three boring days of my life. Suffocated, irritated and chaotic. We reached the beachside heritage resort. I saw crystal clear waves hitting the beach sand, many trees with mango, jackfruit and many other fruits that I have never seen in my life. I heard the birds chirping and the squirrels running. I understood that the world around me is happening and vibrant. Unknowingly, I started enjoying the nature. I relished the experience of swimming in the pool inside the resort. The swing that me and my mom played together, the naughty running around game with my cute little bro. After all, he was not a nuisance as I thought, but a great friend too. That night, my dad took me to walk through the beach again. I saw the moon and stars shining in me, the clouds playing in the wind, the hushing sound of waves that the rocks enjoy the embrace of. I slowly realized that it was the best day of my life. The next day, I was the first one to wake up, probably for the first time in my life too. I woke up my mom, dad and bro. We walked the beach again. I saw the sun rising. Even the sand that we walked through was an experience to relish. That day, my father introduced me to another experience, books. He had to convince me to read it full. As I started reading, I could know that my head my brain, it was thinking of its own. I could imagine things. I could water the world described in books without the harmful radiation of the blue light. I couldn't know how the three days passed. The wonderful days when I learned to look around me. Now I enjoy hearing the birds chirping in the morning, the moon and stars in the night, the mightiness of trees and the breeze like never before. I am part of a new world, wonderful, marvelous world. I am part of a great nature and I am having a great experience too. Now, I like to talk to my grandmother and brother. Now, also I enjoy looking the world around me. It was then I started thinking beyond gadgets. Thank you.